Who knew that planning your dinners for the week could be such a glorious thing? It is, and today's DIY is gonna help you do just that. This is a DIY you are not gonna wanna miss. Hey everybody, welcome back to Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose. Yes, in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links. You guessed it in the description box below. What do I have going on for you for today? Today's DIY is going to make planning those dinners for the entire week easy and fun. And not only is it gonna do that, but it is gonna serve as such a fun rustic wall decor piece that everybody is absolutely gonna love. This DIY I am super excited about because it most definitely is one that I've incorporated into my life and I have been using on a weekly basis now, and it has made planning my dinners for the week so much easier. It is a glorious thing. I love it. With today's meal planning DIY, it allows for Kayla and Allie to get involved with that planning. We all sit down on Sunday night, figure out what we're gonna have for dinner the following week. So when I go grocery shopping, I know exactly what I need to get for that week and what I don't need to get. It is a real money saver. I can't wait to show you what I have in store for you for today's DIY. So I'm gonna quit my gabbing, let's jump into it, and let's do some meal planning on a budget DIY in style, cause why not? Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll wanna stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. Alrighty, so getting started with today's DIY, you know I love these longer plaques. This was one in my stash that I'm gonna use. Dollar Tree has these all year round. If it's got an embellishment on it, you're gonna to wanna to remove it because you don't need it. Although I won't be using the front of this, I'm gonna use the back side because it's a blank canvas. So why would I go through the hassle of trying to cover up the pattern on the front when I can just use the back? What's great about these is there's none of those pesky holes in this plaque. So I can easily just remove the twine hanger because why? I don't need it for this DIY. I just need the plaque itself. I do, however, need a nice smooth surface for this plaque, so I'm gonna take a light grade sandpaper and just smooth out those holes, and just like that, we're good to go. You're also gonna need one of these wood plaques. Wood plaques, what does it say back here? Wood plank board. This measures out at 11 by five and a half inches. You can find this in the craft section at Dollar Tree. Because it's a lower grade wood, I found that these planks had several splinters in them, so I'm gonna take a light grade sandpaper and go over it to smooth it out. If you don't, when you go to paint it, you're gonna see those splinters quite a bit. So it's best just to take some sandpaper, run over it so you have a nice, clean, smooth surface so when you apply that paint, it looks flawless. Then I'm gonna go in with some of Waverly's chalk paint in the color of white. This is a matte finish acrylic paint, one of my favorites, you all know that. And I'm gonna give both the Fall and Harvest plaque and my wood plank a good couple coats of this paint. I'm gonna glue these two plaques together to do that, I'm gonna use this wood glue by Super Glue. I'm not going the hot glue route because I really want these to stay together. You'll see that I have my measuring tape out on this longer plaque because I need this plaque to measure out at 22 inches after I put this plaque here up at the top. I placed a bead of the wood glue right along the edge of the plaque there because I'm going to frame this piece out with my favorite thing, Jenga blocks. You can paint a border around this if you'd like to, but I think that when you add 
The Jenga blocks, it kind of adds dimension and more personality and in turn gives your piece more character and it's gonna give it a more finished look. I totally am doing this on purpose, not adding Jenga blocks to that side of the long plaque because you will see there is a method to my madness. Then I'm gonna go in with some of Waverly's antique wax. Surprise, surprise there, right? I am not a creature of habit. And I'm gonna give the Jenga blocks a nice good coating of this because I think it'll be a nice contrast up against the white plaques themselves. Really make that frame stand out. You might also want to grab a couple packs of these chalkboard tags by Crafter Square. They come in a six pack. You're going to need seven of them, so you better pick up two packs. And how about a pack of these mini clothespins? You can't beat this. 50 come in this pack. These mini clothespins are going to go right here on these chalkboard tags on this end to be exact. And I'm going to do that to seven of them. I will tell you that the string on these tags really serves no purpose at all other than, I guess, a decorative element. I really like the way it looks. I like these tags with the strings. If you don't want the string, take the string off or make your own out of black cardstock without a hole and without a string. Did I say you're gonna need seven of these and you're gonna put seven of the mini clothespins on this end? Pulling out my trusty measuring tape. I love this thing. I know it is for sewing, but it works perfect for crafting. You're gonna wanna find the 11 and a quarter inch mark, and I'm gonna place my first clothespin there. Now, I did take this first clothespin off of the card just to get it into place, but you do wanna keep your clothespins on the cards because when you go to place them, it's gonna give you an accurate spacing, as you can see. If you place your clothespins without the card on it, you may not have the same space difference in between each card, and yeah, it's those fine details. You want accurate spacing. And that there is why I didn't put the Jenga blocks on this side. See, there was a method to my madness. Now, because this is a weekly meal planner, meal planner? Well, I'm not planning several meals. Well, I am planning several meals, but I'm only planning one meal a day, which is dinner. So this is my weekly dinner planner. Yes, that's what I'll call it. I wanted to add the days of the week to it. And so to do that, I used my Cricut and I cut the days of the week out using vinyl. Now Dollar Tree's got stickers. They've got poster board stickers if you wanna use those. They've even got those cool rub-on transfers that are amazing. But if you want vinyl and you wanna buy this whole bundle, guess where it's available for you? If you wanna order the exact vinyls that I'm using in my DIY today, Linda's made it available in her Etsy store. You can buy the vinyl decals and have her cut and send them to you with free shipping for the bargain price of $6. You can find the link to Linda's Etsy store, guess where? In the description box below. Up here at the top, I'm keeping it simple and to the point. Dinner menu. Yes, and like that, Kayla, Allie, and I have now discovered that if we plan out our meals, our dinner meals for the week, we know what to expect. And like I said, it really does save on cost of groceries because I'm only buying what I need for the week instead of buying those extras of what if or maybe. Maybe I'll make this, what if I make this? Yeah, now I'm only buying what I need. Dollar Tree's got what they are calling a metallic marker. This is in white, doesn't look very metallic to me. When I used it on my chalkboard tags, it worked perfectly because it's white and you can easily write on the black cardstock with this white marker. I feel like this is a chalk marker and I feel like it should be labeled as such, but it's not, it says metallic. Whatever, to each his own, it works. It's $1.25 and it's gonna get the job done. I've got decent printing. And so I decided just to write out my own tags 
What's great about these tags and why I chose to use tags instead of chalkboard itself is just because I liked the idea of the tags. I liked being able to have a container that I put all my tags in with the meals that I regularly make for my family. So at the beginning of the week when I am planning out my menus, I can easily look through the tags and see what meals I like to make. The girls and I can do it together and maybe they see something on a tag that sounds good to them that they might have forgot about. And so that's why I think that using the tags themselves and having them pre-printed out and just picking out the ones that you want for that week is such a great idea. I feel like it really makes planning the meals easier. I know that I'm not alone in this boat of people who cook dinner and the question of the day always seems to be like, what are you in the mood for for dinner or what are we having for dinner? And I'm never really sure what to have and sometimes the burden of figuring that out on my own when maybe I'm not hungry or I don't have an appetite seems to be the million dollar question because I just don't know what to make that day. And I know you all are feeling me on this. And so I like really planning out my dinner meals for the week and just being able to buy what I need for those given meals for that week. And I have found that I have saved a ton of money because I'm not wasting and I'm finding that since I know what I'm gonna make that week, I'm not eating out as often. And so it is a win-win for me and I am so happy that I did this dinner planner menu because it is doing just what I need it to do and it is making our dinner planning fun for Kayla, Allie, and I. And yes, we do in this house have a make yourself dinner night and that is my night off once a week free of cooking if the kids want to have a bowl of cereal for dinner they can have a bowl of cereal yes I said it a bowl of cereal why not I'm not gonna lie from time to time I have a bowl of cereal for dinner I love cereal now if you're somebody who's not super confident when it comes to your penmanship skills well guess what Linda is offering to do 10 meal cards for you for the bargain price of $4. That means she will personalize and cut out the meal cards and send them to you with free shipping. Again, you can find the link to Linda's Etsy store, guess where? You remember, I already told you, it's in the description box below. And just like that, we all sat down, picked out what we wanted for dinner this week, Breakfast was a definite must. Allie is my breakfast eater. I am a big tri-tip person. I like to do an easy night doing a taco pasta because taco pasta is amazing. It's quick, it's easy, it's budget friendly, and the prep time is maybe 10 minutes, and it makes for great leftovers the next day, which I love. Tri-tip is always a good thing to have on the weekends. And so with that, yes, I am loving this dinner menu and it is going to do what I need for it to do. And like I said, I may sound like a broken record, but it makes planning our dinners fun. To hang this up, I dug into my stash and I am getting my sawtooth hangers out. These were on the back of a plaque of a DIY that I did a few months ago and I save them because they come in handy. For times like this because this top piece is wood I can go ahead and screw this sawtooth hanger into this and I am going to have a nice sturdy hanger for my dinner menu planner dinner menu planner yeah that and there we have it now remember this is a very versatile piece so if you don't like the rustic feel that I put into this piece you can very easily change the color scheme and make it suit your decor for the same budget friendly cost that is what DIYing is all about you take what you like you leave what you don't and you get creative and make it your own who is today's KB creations crafter of the day it's going out to Carla Hobbs, who's bringing to us her recreation of my Dollar Tree DIY 4th of July fireworks. Carla, thank you so much for sharing your recreation with us today. Nicely done. 
I hope you all enjoyed today's DIY Dollar Tree DIY meal planner. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes. Because like I always say, and I know lately I probably sound like a broken record, but it's true. Each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, well, they really do help my channel to grow and they help YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, and most of all, stay positive, please, because I am. Bye for now, everybody.